Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. Today I am going to start a new project, and uh, this project is multi vendor e commerce website. And in this project, I am going to create with the REST framework React JS and PostgreSQL. Okay, like we have created our LMS project with the uh, same technologies, maybe the database has been changed, but uh, we are going to use this technology to creating this project. Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about what features we are going to uh, create in this project okay and so let's talk about the features okay so this is multi vendor e-commerce website customer can purchase the web scripts in various technologies so I have chosen the topic so this is our like a you have seen the theme forest website right so in the theme forest seller can upload the uh, scripts and uh, customer will uh, you know customer will purchase and seller will take some uh, seller will take some amount and theme forest will take some commission so that kind of scenario you can say also the uh, marketplace right so this kind of project is it is so let's talk about the features so there are three panels in this website first one is uh, first one is our website where we will uh, show the information all kind of information second one is our customer panel right third one is our seller seller panel and one more panel in this project that is our admin panel right in the admin panel we will manage everything right and uh, if we talk about the technologies the technologies we are using i'm using uh, the current version is python 3.10 and django 4 react js is 18 bootstrap is 5 postgresql is this and uh, pg admin and i'm using the operating system ubuntu 2022 okay so these let's talk about the website features okay so i will upload all these thing on the description also so you will get the all information okay so let's talk about the home page so we will create a home page category list page product list page detail page checkout page order success page order failure page and this will be the multilingual website it means we can switch the language we, we will add multiple languages in the website okay so we'll say uh, en and uh, we'll say hindi right so uh, we will start a two uh, different uh, we will create two different kind of language in this project and we will see how to manage that okay so in the home page so this is a uh, normal uh, you can imagine this structure later when we will create the front end then we uh, all the things will depend on this right so this is the uh, simple things okay so i assume that you have a you will be the you, you will have a simple idea that how uh, how and uh, what we are going to do in this project so home page the header part latest uh, project part in the home page popular categories popular projects popular sellers right and customer rating and review and then footer and uh, in all pages header footer will same in the website then category list product list we will add the filters right so sorting uh, according to the price latest alphabet views right product detail checkout page when checkout is uh, you know checkout is uh, uh, done then we will redirect to the order success if not then failure and multilingual like i told you so we will use uh, in this website we will use paypal right and because we are you dealing with the indian payment so i will use razor pay right and one more i will use stripe right so stripe payment so three kind of payment we will use in this website right so let's talk about the customer panel in the customer panel customer can register login forgot password you know whatever the basic things he, he will do in the authentication then he he has a he will have a dashboard he can see the orders he can update the profile change the passwords right he can also uh, okay so from the order panel he can download the projects right download scripts you can see right and uh, if if uh, we will also try to implement some compass coupon system okay we will see that later okay so let's talk about the seller panel okay so seller panel where the seller will register and upload the scripts right so 
register login basic authentication system register login forget password reset password or change password then he will have a dashboard in this in the dashboard seller can manage categories manage projects uh, manage products orders customer profile you know all the things okay so these are the main basic things all these are the authentication system but these are the main basic thing uh, main things that we need to implement okay and uh, for the admin panel admin can manage sellers categories products uh, customers orders okay so we will manage this from the django default admin panel and these are we will create okay so we will use uh, these technologies like i uh, told you before right so we will uh, we are going to create this website i hope you have a basic idea now that what we are going to create and uh, you can imagine that how the structure will be okay so uh, comment me your thoughts about this the uh, you know features and if you want to introduce anything if you want to add anything then please tell me because at the end it's uh, you know difficult to add implementation the things so if you add something in this video okay so it will be good we can implement right okay so how you will get the source code of this project the the question is okay so there are two options the first option is you can go to the projectplaza.com this is also my website i am uploading everything every scripts here whatever i am creating right so here you can see that learning management system and all other projects in the different technologies right so you can download you can purchase the scripts from here okay and uh, the second way is the second way is you can just uh, you can you know just send me your email right and uh, i will send you the source code right send me your email and pay me via paypal right and then i will send you the uh, source code via or i will uh, send you the access of the source code because everything i'm uploading on the github so you can also uh, check the github you know repository so here i am uploading everything you know so yes so in the next video we will uh, set up the project okay and uh, we will see that uh, up and running and then we will start the front end system we will create everything from scratch okay i will not use the third party things on uh, other uh, uh, templates in the context of templates i am saying i am not going to use third party template i am going to use uh, you know we will create the create everything from scratch like we did in our lms right so i just need your support you, okay so join them you can also join the membership okay subscribe this channel like this video share this video with your friends okay and uh, you can also uh, you know uh, subscribe uh, follow the instagram account okay so thank you so much for watching this video okay please add your comments if you need other things in this uh, apart from this uh, requirements right so please add your thoughts and uh, i will try to implement right so thank you so much for watching this video thank you